This audiobook unveils the ancient wisdom behind your lucky mind, guiding you to become the luckiest person on earth. As you listen, you'll discover that luck isn't random. It's a force you can control with your thoughts and beliefs. Unlock the hidden treasures of the universe and align yourself with cosmic abundance. Your Lucky Mind Introduction In the realm of the universe, there are no coincidences. Every event, every encounter, every opportunity is a reflection of your thoughts, beliefs, and energy. You hold in your hands a key to unlocking the hidden treasures of the cosmos. This tome, Your Lucky Mind, is not merely a book but a portal to forgotten wisdom that has guided seekers throughout the ages. As you go through each chapter, you will feel the whispers of ancient sages, their knowledge preserved in the very ink that forms these words. Luck is not the capricious force many believe it to be. It is a cosmic current flowing through the fabric of existence, waiting for those who understand its nature to harness its power. You have been drawn to this knowledge for a reason. The universe itself has guided you to this moment of revelation. Within these pages, you will uncover stories as old as time itself, each one a mirror reflecting the deepest truths of your being. You will journey through the corridors of your own consciousness, guided by the light of understanding that has highlighted the path for generations of truth seekers before you. This is not mere coincidence that you now hold this knowledge in your hands. You have been called to awaken, to remember the power that has always resided within you. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, has orchestrated this moment of discovery, this confluence of seeker and truth. Prepare yourself, for you are about to embark on a transformation unlike any other. You are not just listening to a book. You are unlocking the very code of fortune, aligning yourself with the currents of cosmic abundance. Part 1. Awakening to the Power of Luck Chapter 1. The Key to Unlocking Your Lucky Mind You find yourself standing at the edge of a vast desert, the sun beating down mercilessly upon the endless expanse of sand. This is where our journey begins. For in this barren landscape, a timeless tale unfolds, one that holds the key to unlocking the very essence of fortune. Imagine a wanderer, much like yourself, who has lost everything. His possessions, his direction, his hope, all swept away by the unforgiving winds of fate. Yet as he stumbles through the scorching dunes, he encounters a figure shimmering in the heat, a mystical guide whose eyes hold the wisdom of ages. The oasis you seek, the guide speaks, his voice carrying the weight of countless lifetimes, lies not beyond the horizon, but within the depths of your own mind. The wanderer, parched and weary, looks at the guide with confusion. How can this be? he asks. Your thoughts, your beliefs, they are the wellspring from which your reality flows, the guide replies. The mirages you see are but reflections of the images you hold within. As you contemplate this tale, understand that you too are the wanderer. The desert represents the challenges you face, and the guide is the wisdom that has always resided within you, waiting to be awakened. Your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions are not mere fleeting shadows in your mind. They are the very keys that unlock the gates of fortune. Like the wanderer in the desert, you have the power to transform the barren landscape of your circumstances into an oasis of abundance. Consider now the tale of a humble blacksmith in a village plagued by misfortune. While others bemoaned their fate, he held an unwavering belief in his ability to forge a better future. Each day he approached his anvil with faith, shaping not just metal but his destiny. 
As seasons passed, the village flourished, and the blacksmith's workshop became a beacon of prosperity. Travelers would marvel, how did you bring such luck to this once forsaken place? The blacksmith would simply smile and say, I did not wait for luck to find me. I forged it with every thought, every belief, every strike of my hammer. This narrative illustrates a deep truth. Luck begins not in the outer world, but in the inner realms of your mind. The blacksmith's fortune manifested first as a thought, then as belief, and finally as physical reality. As we conclude this chapter, I invite you to engage in a practice as ancient as it is powerful. Each day, reflect upon a situation where your mindset shifted your fortune. Perhaps it was a moment of courage that led to an unexpected opportunity, or a positive outlook that transformed a challenge into a blessing. In your journal, write about this experience. Then, with the wisdom gained, contemplate how you can consciously choose thoughts that align with the fortune you wish to manifest. Remember, as you pen these reflections, you are not merely writing, you are actively shaping the blueprint of your destiny. Chapter 2. Changing how you see changes what you get. You find yourself transported to a distant land where the air is thick with the scent of exotic spices, and the streets hum with the whispers of ancient wisdom. Here, a young traveler's tale unfolds before your eyes, revealing a profound truth about the nature of perception and luck. As you follow her journey, you witness her arrival at a marketplace. On her first visit, she sees only empty stalls and barren shelves. Disappointment clouds her vision, and she turns away, believing there is nothing of value to be found. But as she learns to shift her perspective, something miraculous occurs. Upon her return, the very same marketplace now brims with abundance. Colorful fabrics, gleaming jewels, and fragrant fruits fill every corner. This transformation was not in the marketplace itself, but in the traveler's perception. And so it is with you. The world around you is a reflection of your inner landscape. When you view life through the lens of scarcity, opportunities seem scarce. But when you adopt an abundant mindset, a world of possibilities unfolds before you. Now let your mind wander to a grand palace where a young prince feels trapped within its opulent walls. A wise monk arrives and with gentle guidance helps the prince see his gilded cage in a new light. What was once a symbol of isolation becomes a sanctuary of endless potential. Each room now holds the promise of new discoveries, each courtyard a stage for grand adventures. As you absorb this wisdom, understand that your world is much like the prince's palace. By changing how you perceive your surroundings, you alter the very fabric of your reality. Your luck is not determined by external circumstances, but by the way you choose to see and interact with the world around you. To help you embody this ancient knowledge, I offer you a sacred practice. Find a quiet moment and close your eyes. Visualize an ordinary part of your life, perhaps your home, your workplace, or a familiar path you walk each day. Now, with the power of your mind, begin to see this space through a new, abundant lens. Where once you saw limitations, now see possibilities. That old bookshelf becomes a portal to new knowledge. The bustling street outside your window transforms into a river of opportunity, flowing with potential connections and serendipitous encounters. Your desk, once a symbol of mundane tasks, now becomes an altar of creation where your dreams can take shape. As you practice this visualization, you are training your mind to recognize fortune in the everyday. You are attuning yourself to the frequency of abundance that has always surrounded you, waiting to be perceived. Remember, Seeker, the world is as vast or as limited as you believe it to be. By changing your perception, you change your luck. 
The abundance you seek has always been within your reach. You need only open your eyes to see it. Chapter 3. Tuning into the Frequency of Fortune In a village snuggled among rolling hills, there lived a musician named Elias. Though skilled with his instrument, he felt disconnected from the world around him. One day, an old sage passed through the village and, hearing Elias play, approached him. "'Your music is beautiful,' the sage said, "'but it lacks the melody of life itself.' Confused, Elias asked, What do you mean? The sage smiled. Close your eyes and listen to the world around you. Hear the whisper of the wind, the rhythm of the river, the song of the birds. Now, tune your instrument to match these natural harmonies. Elias did as instructed, and as he played, his eyes widened in wonder. His music now flowed with the very essence of life, and he felt a connection to something greater than himself. This story illustrates a reflective truth. Luck operates on a certain energetic frequency. Just as Elias tuned his instrument to the natural harmonies of the world, you too can align your emotions and intentions to the frequency of fortune. To elevate your vibration and attune yourself to Lux Melody, practice gratitude daily, find joy in the small moments of life, cultivate positive expectation, knowing that good fortune is your natural state. These practices are not mere wishful thinking, they are the tools that shape your energetic signature, allowing you to resonate with the abundance of the universe. Now let us turn to the tale of Farmer Chen, whose story further highlights this wisdom. Farmer Chen tended his fields year after year, patiently working in harmony with the seasons. While others rushed to plant and harvest, Chen observed the subtle rhythms of nature. He planted when the soil was richest, harvested when the moon was full, and rested when the land needed to replenish. One year, as others' crops failed due to unexpected weather, Chen's fields flourished. The abundance of his harvest brought him great wealth, yet he remained humble. I simply listen to the whispers of the earth and align myself with its wisdom, he said. Chen's story reminds you that when you tune into the flow of the universe, allowing yourself to move in harmony with its currents, luck flows effortlessly into your life. It is not about forcing outcomes, but about aligning yourself with the natural order of things. As we conclude this chapter, I offer you a simple yet powerful practice to raise your frequency and align yourself with the vibration of fortune. Each morning, as the sun greets the day, take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. They need not be grand. Even the simplest blessings carry great power when recognized with a thankful heart. As you practice this ritual, feel the warmth of gratitude spreading through your being, elevating your energy and attuning you to the frequency of abundance. In this state of alignment, you become a magnet for good fortune, drawing luck towards you as naturally as a flower turns towards the sun. Chapter 4 Belief in a land plagued by drought, a village teetered on the edge of famine. Crops withered, livestock grew thin, and hope dwindled with each passing day. Yet amidst the despair, a young child named Arya remained unshaken in her belief that rain would come. Each day, Arya would stand at the village center, arms outstretched, proclaiming, The rains are coming. Though many dismissed her, her unwavering faith began to stir something in the hearts of the villagers. Slowly, they too began to believe, and then, as if answering their collective call, clouds gathered on the horizon, the skies opened, and life-giving rain poured down upon the parched earth. The village's fortunes changed overnight, all because one child dared to believe. This tale reveals a fundamental truth. Belief is the ultimate magnet for luck. When you truly believe in the possibility of good fortune, you draw it into your life with an irresistible force. To strengthen your self-belief and eliminate doubt, 
practice visualizing your desired outcome with vivid clarity. Feel the emotions of already having received your good fortune. Let gratitude fill your heart, even before the manifestation occurs. These techniques align your energy with the frequency of abundance, making you a powerful attractor of luck. Now let the story of the fisherman Wei deepen your understanding of this principle. Wei had spent many fruitless days at sea, his nets coming up empty time and again. Despair began to creep into his heart until one night he had a vivid dream. In this dream, he saw himself casting his net into waters teeming with fish. Upon waking, Wei felt a profound shift within. He chose to trust this inner knowing, this whisper of his heart. With renewed faith, he set out to sea once more. As he cast his net, he did so with complete trust in the abundance that awaited him. To his amazement, when he pulled in his net, it was filled to bursting with fish of every kind. Wei's unwavering belief had unlocked the very bounty of the sea. This narrative sheds light on a serious truth. Your belief is the wellspring from which all fortune flows. When you trust in your heart's knowing and maintain unwavering faith, you become an irresistible magnet for luck and abundance. To conclude this chapter, I offer you a powerful practice to reinforce your belief in your own lucky mind. Each day, stand before a mirror and look into your own eyes as you affirm, I am a magnet for good fortune. Luck flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I trust in the wisdom of the universe, knowing that all things work together for my highest good. I am grateful for the endless opportunities that surround me. My lucky mind attracts success, joy, and prosperity in all areas of my life. Repeat this affirmation with conviction, feeling the truth of these words resonating through your entire being. As you consistently practice this ritual, you will strengthen your belief in your innate luckiness, affirming that good fortune is always within your reach. Chapter 5. See it, feel it, receive it. As you turn the page, you are greeted by the tale of Lila, a gifted artist whose brush seemed to dance with destiny itself. In a small attic studio, bathed in the soft glow of candlelight, Lila stood before a blank canvas. Her eyes closed, she breathed deeply, allowing her mind to paint the picture of her future prosperity. With each stroke of her brush, Lila brought her vision to life. She painted herself in a grand gallery, surrounded by admirers, her art adorning the walls of the most prestigious museums. As the image took form, she felt the emotions of success and fulfillment coursing through her veins. This is the power of visualization. It is not merely daydreaming, but a potent tool for manifesting luck and abundance in your life. When you visualize with clarity and emotion, you align your energy with the frequency of your desires magnetizing fortune toward you. To harness this power, immerse yourself fully in your visualizations. Engage all your senses. If you seek financial abundance, feel the weight of prosperity in your hands, hear the rustle of currency, smell the crisp scent of new bills. Let the joy of abundance fill your heart. Now let us turn to the tale of Elias, the master builder. Before laying a single brick, Elias would spend hours in quiet contemplation, his mind's eye constructing every detail of his dream home. He saw the sunlight streaming through stained glass windows, felt the smooth texture of polished wood beneath his fingers, and heard the laughter of loved ones echoing through spacious halls. As Elias began to build, he found that his hands seemed guided by an unseen force. Challenges melted away, and resources appeared as if by magic. The finished home was a perfect reflection of his initial vision a testament to the power of visualization. Remember, dear one, seeing is the first step to receiving. When you hold a clear image of your desired outcome in your mind, you set in motion the forces of the universe to bring it into being. 
To conclude this chapter, I offer you a powerful visualization practice. Find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths, allowing your body to relax. Now imagine a scene where luck has manifested abundantly in your life. Perhaps it's a business deal that exceeded all expectations, or a chance encounter that led to a life-changing opportunity. See this lucky outcome in vivid detail. What do you see around you? What sounds do you hear? Are there any particular scents in the air? How does your body feel in this moment of triumph? Most importantly, allow yourself to feel the emotions associated with this fortunate event. Let joy, gratitude, and excitement fill every cell of your being. Hold this vision and these feelings for several minutes, knowing that by doing so, you are aligning yourself with the very essence of luck. Chapter 6. Turn Setbacks into Stepping Stones for Luck As you turn the page, you encounter the tale of Rashid, a wealthy merchant whose fortunes seemed as vast as the sea itself. One fateful night, a tempest of unprecedented fury struck, shattering Rashid's fleet and scattering his treasures across the ocean floor. In the harsh light of dawn, Rashid stood upon the shore, his empire seemingly reduced to splinters and foam. Yet as he walked among the wreckage, his foot struck something hard beneath the sand. Curious, he began to dig, unearthing a chest of gleaming pearls, a treasure far more valuable than any he had lost. As Rashid continued to search, he discovered more chests, each filled with precious gems and ancient artifacts hidden for centuries beneath the very waters he had sailed. In this tale lies a profound truth. What appears to be a catastrophe may, in fact, be fortune in disguise. The storm that seemed to destroy Rashid's wealth was, in truth, the key that unlocked a greater treasure. Now let us explore into the wisdom this story imparts. Every setback, every apparent misfortune, is not an end, but a beginning. It is a doorway through which new luck can enter your life. When you face adversity, remember that you stand at the threshold of opportunity. Bring your attention to the tale of Amira, the farmer. One summer, a terrible drought struck her land, withering her crops and threatening her livelihood. Yet, as Amira walked through her barren fields, she noticed that certain wild herbs had thrived in the harsh conditions. Inspired, Amira began to cultivate these resilient plants. She learned their medicinal properties and crafted them into teas and remedies. What began as a ruined harvest blossomed into a thriving herbal business, bringing Amira greater prosperity than she had ever known as a traditional farmer. This story teaches us that fortune often wears the mask of misfortune. The very circumstances that seem to block our path may, in fact, be redirecting us toward our true destiny. As you reflect on these teachings, I invite you to engage in a transformative practice. Take a moment to find a quiet space. With pen and paper in hand, think back to a time when you faced a significant setback or disappointment. Write about this experience, but with a new perspective. How did this apparent misfortune open new doors for you? What unexpected opportunities arose from this challenge? How did it shape your path in ways you couldn't have foreseen? As you journal, allow yourself to see the hidden blessings within your past struggles. Feel gratitude for these disguised gifts, knowing that each challenge has been a stepping stone on your journey to greater fortune. Remember that in the alchemy of the universe, even the darkest lead can transmute into the brightest gold. Your setbacks are not endpoints, but gateways to new realms of possibility and luck. Chapter 7. Trusting Your Inner Compass As you turn the page, you find yourself immersed in the tale of Marius, a seasoned sailor lost amidst the vast, unforgiving ocean. 
For days, Marius drifted aimlessly, his supplies dwindling and hope fading with each setting sun. In his darkest hour, an old sage appeared to him in a dream, presenting him with a peculiar compass. Trust in what you cannot see, the sage whispered, for it will guide you true. Upon awakening, Marius found the compass clutched in his hand. Its needle didn't point north, but danced and swayed as if alive. Following an inexplicable urge, Marius steered his vessel in the direction the compass indicated, even when it seemed to lead him further from familiar waters. To his astonishment, after three days of unwavering faith, Marius spotted the welcoming silhouette of his home port on the horizon. In this narrative lies a significant truth. Your intuition is the compass that can guide you through the storms of life towards the shores of fortune. Like Marius, you too possess an inner wisdom that, when heeded, can lead you to unexpected treasures and fortuitous outcomes. Now let us explore deeper into the nature of this inner compass. Your intuition is the voice of the universe speaking through you, a bridge between your conscious mind and the infinite wisdom of the cosmos. It manifests as subtle nudges, inexplicable feelings, or sudden flashes of insight. By learning to recognize and trust these signals, you open yourself to a world of serendipitous opportunities. To strengthen your connection to this inner guidance, practice stillness. In moments of quiet reflection, free from the noise of the outer world, your intuition speaks most clearly. Pay attention to the sensations in your body, a flutter in your stomach, a warmth in your chest. For these are often the physical manifestations of intuitive knowing. Bring your attention now to the tale of Amara, the healer. In a bustling marketplace filled with exotic herbs and potions, Amara found herself drawn to a simple, overlooked plant. Though others saw no value in it, she felt compelled to study its properties. Through patient observation and trust in her inner knowing, Amara discovered the plant's extraordinary healing capabilities, creating a remedy that brought her renown and abundance. This story illustrates that your greatest fortunes often lie where others fail to look. By trusting the whispers of your heart, you attune yourself to opportunities that remain invisible to those guided solely by logic or convention. Now I invite you to engage in a practice to deepen your connection with your intuitive wisdom. Find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths, allowing your body to relax and your mind to still. As you settle into this peaceful state, imagine a soft, warm light emanating from your heart center. This light represents your intuition, your inner compass. As you breathe deeply, ask yourself, what is my next step towards greater fortune and fulfillment? Don't strain for an answer. Instead, remain open and receptive. Notice any images, feelings, or thoughts that arise. They may come as a gentle whisper, a vivid picture, or a subtle knowing. Trust whatever comes, even if it doesn't make immediate logical sense. Your intuition often communicates in symbols and feelings rather than words. Sit with this guidance for a few moments, allowing it to deepen and clarify. When you feel complete, gently open your eyes and take a moment to journal about your experience. What insights or directions did your intuition offer? How can you take a small step today to follow this inner guidance? Chapter 8. The Magic of Giving You turn the page and a new chapter unfolds before your eyes. As you begin to read, you find yourself transported to a humble village where a tale of unexpected fortune awaits. In a small, impoverished hamlet, there lived a man named Elias. Though he had little to his name, his heart was rich with kindness. One fateful day, as hunger gnawed at his belly, 
Elias found himself with only a single loaf of bread to his name. As he prepared to break his fast, a weary traveler appeared at his door, eyes hollow with hunger. Without hesitation, Elias offered his last morsel to the stranger. Take it, he said, for your need is greater than mine. The traveler accepted with gratitude, and as he departed, a mysterious smile played upon his lips. That very evening, as Elias resigned himself to sleep on an empty stomach, a knock came at his door. To his astonishment, he found his neighbors gathered outside, each bearing dishes of sumptuous food. We felt compelled to share our bounty, they explained, unaware of the reason behind their sudden generosity. In this simple tale lies a profound truth. When you give freely, you create a vacuum that the universe rushes to fill. This is the law of reciprocity, a fundamental principle that governs the flow of fortune in your life. Consider now the story of King Adarus, whose kingdom faced years of hardship. In a moment of inspiration, Adarus decided to share the royal treasury with his people, providing seeds, tools, and education. Many of his advisors warned against this, fearing it would deplete the kingdom's resources. But Adarus persisted, and a remarkable transformation took place. As the people prospered, they began to return their good fortune to the kingdom. Taxes flowed freely, innovation flourished, and the realm entered an unprecedented era of abundance. What Adarus gave away returned to him tenfold, for in sharing his wealth, he had aligned himself and his kingdom with the natural flow of universal abundance. These stories highlight a vital truth. Generosity is not merely a virtue, but a powerful attractor of luck and prosperity. When you give without expectation of return, you demonstrate your trust in the abundance of the universe. This trust, this alignment with the flow of giving and receiving, opens channels through which fortune can flow freely into your life. Now I invite you to integrate this wisdom into your daily life with a simple yet powerful practice. Each day perform one act of generosity, however small it may seem. This could be offering a kind word to a stranger, sharing your time or skills with someone in need, or making a small donation to a cause you believe in. As you perform this act, do so with full presence and without expectation of return. Then, observe. Notice how this act of giving affects your own state of being. Pay attention to the subtle ways in which channels of fortune and gratitude begin to open in your life. You may find unexpected opportunities arising, kind gestures being returned to you, or a general sense of abundance permeating your experiences. By consciously engaging in this practice, you align yourself with the universal flow of giving and receiving, inviting a cascade of fortunate circumstances into your life. Part 2. Cultivating the Mind of Luck Chapter 9. Daily Rituals of Luck Creation As you turn the page, a new chapter unfolds before you, revealing the ancient wisdom of cultivating luck through daily practice. In a secluded valley, situated among mist-shrouded mountains, there once stood a temple of gleaming white stone. Here, monks dedicated their lives to the pursuit of harmony with the universe. Each dawn, as the first rays of sunlight kissed the temple spires, the monks would gather in the central courtyard to perform their sacred rituals. With practiced movements, they would align their bodies with the positions of the stars, chanting ancient mantras that resonated with the cosmic rhythms. As they did so, a palpable energy would fill the air, and it was said that fortune smiled upon all their endeavors that day. This parable, passed down through generations, speaks to a meaningful truth. Luck is not a capricious force, but one that can be cultivated through consistent, intentional practice. Just as the monks align themselves with the stars each morning, 
you too can create daily rituals that attune you to the frequencies of fortune. These practices need not be elaborate or time-consuming. Rather, they should be simple, heartfelt actions that you perform with regularity and intention. Think about the power of gratitude journaling. Each morning, take a few moments to write down three things for which you are grateful. This simple act shifts your focus to the abundance already present in your life, creating a magnetic force that attracts more blessings. Affirmations, too, can be a potent tool in your arsenal of luck-creating practices. By speaking words of positivity and expectation, you program your subconscious mind to recognize and seize fortunate opportunities. Visualization, when practiced consistently, can manifest luck in remarkable ways. Spend a few minutes each day vividly imagining yourself experiencing the good fortune you desire. Feel it. See it. Believe it as though it were already real. Now let me share with you the tale of Aiden, a humble merchant who lived in a bustling port city. Each morning, before the sun had fully risen, Aiden would sit in quiet meditation. He would give thanks for the blessings in his life, affirm his worthiness of good fortune, and visualize successful trades and abundant wealth. At first, his fellow merchants scoffed at what they saw as a waste of precious trading time. But as the weeks turned to months and months to years, they could not deny the uncanny luck that seemed to follow Aiden. His ships always found fair winds, his goods always fetched the best prices, and opportunities seemed to fall into his lap as if guided by an invisible hand. What Aiden understood and what you must now embrace is that creating luck is not a singular event, but an ongoing practice. It is through the consistent alignment of your thoughts, words, and actions that you create a life where fortune flows freely. Now, I invite you to integrate this wisdom into your own life with a simple yet powerful morning ritual. As you wake each day before your feet touch the floor, pause for a moment of gratitude. Silently or aloud, express thanks for three specific blessings in your life. Next, speak a simple affirmation of luck, such as, I am aligned with the flow of good fortune, and luck follows me in all I do. Finally, close your eyes and spend a brief moment visualizing your day unfolding with unexpected blessings and fortunate circumstances. By faithfully performing this ritual each morning, you set the tone for a day filled with luck and abundance. Remember, it is not the grandeur of the ritual that matters, but the consistency and intention with which you perform it. Chapter 10 Embrace the Unexpected As you turn the page, you find yourself embarking on a journey to uncover the hidden treasures of fortune that often lie disguised as misfortune. Let me share with you a tale that has been whispered through the ages, a narrative of unexpected blessings. There once was a traveler named Einar who set out on a journey to a distant city. His path was clear, his destination certain. But as fate would have it, a sudden storm forced him to seek shelter in a dense forest far from his intended route. At first, Einar cursed his luck, lamenting the delay. But as he wandered deeper into the woods, he stumbled upon a hidden village snuggled in a valley untouched by time. Here, he discovered artisans crafting wonders he had never seen before knowledge that had been lost to the outside world and treasures beyond his wildest dreams. Had Einar continued on his original path, he would have missed this extraordinary encounter. The storm, which he initially perceived as a setback, was in truth the hand of fortune guiding him to a greater destiny. This tale enlightens a profound truth. What we often perceive as misfortune can be luck in disguise. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, sometimes redirects our steps to lead us to treasures we could never have imagined. Focus now on the story of Mira, a potter renowned for her delicate craftsmanship. 
One day, as she prepared for a royal commission, her prized clay shattered on the wheel. In despair, she gathered the broken pieces, intending to discard them. But as she did so, inspiration struck. Mira began to reassemble the fragments, creating a mosaic of colors and textures that surpassed her original vision. The resulting piece was so breathtaking that it not only pleased the royal court, but also established a new art form, bringing Mira fame and fortune beyond her wildest dreams. What seemed like a catastrophe became the catalyst for her greatest success. These tales teach us that luck often hides in the most unlikely places. The unexpected twists and turns of life are not obstacles to our fortune, but rather divine invitations to discover hidden blessings. To embrace this wisdom, I offer you a practice of reflection and reframing. Think of a recent event that you perceived as an inconvenience or setback, perhaps a missed appointment, a change of plans, or an unexpected delay. Now close your eyes and take a deep breath. As you exhale, release your initial judgment of this event. With an open mind, consider. What opportunities might this unexpected occurrence have created? What new paths or possibilities may have opened as a result? What lessons or growth might you have gained from this experience? Spend a few moments in quiet meditation, allowing your mind to explore the potential hidden fortune within this event. As you do so, feel a sense of gratitude growing within you for the mysterious ways in which luck manifests in your life. Remember, seeker of fortune, that luck often wears the cloak of adversity. By remaining open to the unexpected and trusting in the benevolent flow of the universe, you align yourself with the currents of good fortune that are always moving through your life. Chapter 11. Connecting with the Universe Through Relationships As you look deeper into the secrets of fortune, you uncover a truth as old as humanity itself, the power of connection. Let me share with you a tale that has been passed down through generations, a tale of growth and abundance through unity. In a small village between the rolling hills, there lived a lone gardener named Thorn. His plot of land, once lush and vibrant, had slowly withered despite his tireless efforts. Day after day, Thorn toiled alone, his crops failing and his spirit dimming. One morning, as dawn broke over the hills, an old sage appeared at Thorn's gate. Why do you labor in isolation? The sage asked. The earth's bounty multiplies when shared. Confused but desperate, Thorn heeded the sage's words. He ventured beyond his garden walls, exchanging seeds with his neighbors and sharing the knowledge he had gained through years of tending the soil. To his amazement as he gave, he received tenfold in return, rare seeds, ancient techniques, and the warmth of community. As the seasons passed, Thorn's garden transformed. It became a tapestry of diverse plants, each thriving in harmony with the others. The very soil seemed to pulse with newfound vitality. Soon, Thorn's garden became the most fruitful in the village, a testament to the power of shared wisdom and collective effort. This narrative illuminates a deep truth. Luck flourishes in the fertile soil of connection. By aligning yourself with positive, like-minded individuals and nurturing these bonds, you create an energetic network through which fortune flows freely. Reflect on the tale of King Aldrich, whose kingdom was small but ambitious. Rather than seeking to conquer his neighbors, Aldrich chose a path of alliance and mutual benefit. He opened trade routes, exchanged knowledge, and forged friendships with rulers far and wide. As these connections grew stronger, so did Aldrich's realm. Wealth poured in through trade. Innovations sprang from shared wisdom and the kingdom's influence expanded far beyond its borders. What Aldrich could not achieve alone, he accomplished through the power of positive relationships. 
These stories teach us that luck is not a solitary pursuit. It is a force that grows exponentially when we connect with others who share our vision and values. By nurturing these relationships, you create a web of support and opportunity that amplifies your own good fortune. To harness this wisdom, I offer you a practice of reflection and intention. Take a moment to conduct a relationship audit in your life. Close your eyes and bring to mind the people with whom you interact regularly. As each face appears in your mind's eye, ask yourself, does this relationship lift me up or weigh me down? Does this person's energy align with my aspirations for luck and abundance? How can I nurture the connections that resonate positively with my goals? Now choose three relationships that you feel have the potential to enhance your luck and prosperity. Commit to nurturing these connections over the coming weeks. This might involve reaching out more frequently, offering support, or collaborating on shared goals. Remember, seeker of fortune, that every positive connection you foster is a seed planted in the garden of your luck. By tending to these relationships with care and intention, you create a network of abundance that will bear fruit in ways you may not yet imagine. Chapter 12. Aligned Action You stand at the edge of a vast ocean, the salty breeze carrying whispers of ancient wisdom. As you gaze upon the horizon, let the tale of Marin, the fisherman, unfold before your mind's eye. Marin knew the sea as intimately as he knew his own heartbeat. Yet day after day, his nets returned empty, his boat a lonely speck on the endless blue. Frustration etched lines upon his weathered face, for all his knowledge seemed to yield nothing but disappointment. One moonlit night, as Marin sat mending his nets, an old sea sage appeared beside him. Child of the waves, the sage spoke, his voice like the gentle lapping of water against the shore. You fight against the very force that seeks to bless you. Learn to dance with the tides, and abundance shall be yours. With these words, the sage vanished like sea foam on the sand. Marin pondered this counsel, and as dawn broke, he set out once more. This time, instead of battling the currents, he surrendered to their rhythm. He felt the pulse of the ocean, aligning his movements with its ebb and flow. To his amazement, his nets soon brimmed with silvery fish, a bounty beyond his wildest dreams. In this tale, you glimpse a profound truth. Luck favors those who move in harmony with the universe's natural rhythms. Just as Marin learned to synchronize with the sea, so too must you attune your actions to the flow of life's opportunities. Now let your mind's eye shift to a different scene. Picture a humble scribe named Elowen, hunched over parchments in a candlelit room. For years, Elowen toiled, crafting words for others, chasing accolades and coins. Yet success eluded her, each manuscript falling short of greatness. One fateful night, weary and disheartened, Elowen cast aside her commissions. Instead, she began to write from the depths of her soul, pouring her truest self onto the page. As if by magic, the words flowed like a river, carrying with them a power she had never known. Soon her writings touched hearts across the land, bringing her the success she had long sought. These tales highlight a crucial aspect of inviting luck into your life. Action must be aligned with your deepest truths and passions. When you move in concert with your inner guidance, you open channels for fortune to flow freely. To embody this wisdom, I offer you this practice. Each morning, as the world awakens, set an intention for aligned action. Close your eyes and breathe deeply connecting with the quiet voice of your intuition. Ask yourself, what action can I take today that flows with my true purpose? Listen carefully to the answer that arises. It may be a whisper, a feeling, 
or a clear thought. Whatever form it takes, honor it. Commit to taking at least one step in that direction, no matter how small it may seem. As you move through your day, remain mindful of this intention. Notice how your actions feel. Do they flow easily, like a boat carried by a favorable current? Or do they feel forced, like swimming against the tide? Adjust your course as needed, always seeking that sense of effortless alignment. Remember, seeker of fortune, that luck favors those who act with purpose and passion. By aligning your efforts with your inner guidance, you create a powerful current of opportunity in your life. Chapter 13. Mastering Your Inner Dialogue for Luck Let your mind's eye wander to a distant battlefield, where a warrior named Paul stands, his strength renowned throughout the land. Paul's muscles ripple beneath his armor, his sword gleaming in the sun. Yet battle after battle he tastes only defeat. His spirit wanes with each loss, his inner voice a constant chorus of doubt and despair. One day, as Paul sits in the shade of an ancient tree, licking his wounds, an old sage appears. Young warrior, the sage speaks. His voice is gentle as a summer breeze. The real battle is not on the field, but within your mind. The sage teaches Paul to listen to his inner dialogue, to catch the whispers of defeat before they become shouts. With practice, Paul learns to transform his self-talk, replacing words of doubt with affirmations of strength and victory. As if by magic, Paul's fortune has changed. His sword strike is true, his strategies succeed, and victory becomes his constant companion. The warrior discovers that luck favors those who speak to themselves with kindness and power. This story illuminates a profound truth. The words you speak to yourself shape your reality and attract fortune. Your inner dialogue is the foundation upon which your luck is built. Now, picture a humble baker named Mira. Her pastries are delicious, yet her shop remains empty day after day. Mira's thoughts are a constant stream of worry and self-doubt. No one will come, she tells herself. My bread will never sell. One day, Mira remembers the tale of Paul the warrior. Inspired, she begins to change her inner narrative. My pastries bring joy, she affirms each morning. Customers flock to my shop eager to taste my creations. To her amazement, Mira's luck begins to shift. Word of her delectable treats spreads, and soon her little bakery bustles with activity. Mira realizes that her change in fortune began not with her recipes, but with the recipes of thought she fed herself each day. To harness this wisdom in your own life, I offer you this practice. Each day, set aside time for a self-talk exercise. Begin by catching negative thoughts as they arise. Write them down, acknowledging their presence without judgment. Then, consciously reframe each thought into an empowering statement. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, I never have any luck, reframe it to, I am a magnet for good fortune and opportunities flow to me easily. Speak these new affirmations aloud, feeling their power resonate within you. Then, in a journal, note any immediate changes you notice in your experiences or emotions. Chapter 14, The Magnetic Power of Confidence. You open the pages of this ancient tome and your eyes are drawn to a tale of a falconer and his majestic bird. As you read, you feel as though you are there, witnessing the scene unfold before you. In a meadow bathed in golden sunlight, a falconer stands with his prized bird perched upon his arm. Day after day, he attempts to send the falcon into flight, but the bird remains stubbornly grounded. The falconer's doubt hangs heavy in the air, a tangible force holding the falcon back. Then, one crisp morning, something shifts within the falconer's heart. He looks into the falcon's eyes and sees not just a bird, 
but a reflection of his own potential. In that moment, he believes, truly believes, that the falcon will soar. With unwavering confidence, he raises his arm, and the falcon takes flight, climbing higher than ever before. This parable sheds light on a profound truth. Confidence is the wind beneath the wings of luck. When you believe in yourself and your vision with unwavering certainty, the universe conspires to lift you higher. Consider now the story of Ravi, a trader in a bustling marketplace. For years, Ravi hesitated, second-guessing every decision, watching opportunities slip through his fingers like grains of sand. His lack of confidence kept fortune at bay, a distant dream always out of reach. One day, inspired by the tale of the falconer, Ravi makes a decision. He chooses to act with bold certainty, trusting in his knowledge and instincts. To his amazement, doors begin to open. Deals that once seemed impossible fall into place. Ravi discovers that luck favors those who move with confidence, even in the face of uncertainty. To harness this wisdom in your own life, I offer you this practice. Each day, commit to taking one small but bold action that stretches your comfort zone. It need not be grand. Perhaps it's striking up a conversation with a stranger or voicing an idea in a meeting. As you take this action, carry with you the unwavering belief that luck is on your side. After each bold action, take a moment to reflect. How did it feel to move with confidence? What opportunities or connections emerged as a result? Journal these observations, reinforcing the belief that luck favors the confident. Remember, seeker, that true confidence is not the absence of fear, but the courage to act despite it. As you practice this daily, you will find your confidence growing, becoming an irresistible magnet for luck and fortune. Chapter 15. Gratitude. As you turn the page, you find yourself transported to a windswept hillside where a young shepherd tends his flock. The air is thick with the scent of rain, and dark clouds loom on the horizon. Listen closely, for this tale holds a secret that can multiply your luck beyond measure. The storm descends with fury, scattering the shepherd's flock to the winds. As dawn breaks, he finds himself alone, save for a single lamb that has returned. Instead of lamenting his loss, the shepherd's heart swells with gratitude for this small blessing. He tends to the lamb with care, whispering words of thanks for its safe return. As the new day dawns, the shepherd rubs his eyes in disbelief. Where once stood a single lamb, now a flock twice the size of his original herd grazes peacefully. The power of his gratitude has multiplied his fortune beyond imagination. This narrative sheds light on a thought-provoking truth. Gratitude is the seed from which abundant luck grows. When you cultivate an attitude of appreciation, even in the face of apparent loss, you align yourself with the very essence of abundance. Ponder now on the tale of Amira, a humble scholar in a great city of learning. For years, Amira toiled in obscurity, her works unnoticed, her wisdom unrecognized. Yet inspired by the shepherd's tale, she began to give thanks for even the smallest gains. A kind word from a colleague, a moment of clarity in her studies, the simple joy of a new day. As Amira's gratitude grew, so too did her fortunes. Her works began to attract attention, her wisdom sought after by kings and commoners alike. What seemed like small blessings blossomed into great success, all nurtured by the power of her thankful heart. These stories reveal a universal truth. Gratitude is the ultimate multiplier of luck. It transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary, the mundane into the miraculous. By giving thanks for what you have, you open yourself to receive even more. To harness this wisdom in your own life, I offer you this practice. Each night before you rest, take a moment to reflect on your day. 
in a journal dedicated to gratitude, write down three fortunate events, no matter how small they may seem. Perhaps it was a smile from a stranger, a moment of peace in a busy day or an unexpected opportunity. As you write, feel the deep appreciation in your heart. Let it fill you, radiating outward like ripples on a pond. Visualize this energy of gratitude multiplying your luck, attracting even more blessings into your life. Practice this nightly ritual with consistency and sincerity. Watch as your perception shifts, and what once seemed ordinary becomes extraordinary. Feel the energy of luck amplifying in your life, drawing to you ever-increasing abundance and fortune. Remember, Seeker, that gratitude is not merely a practice, but a way of being. As you cultivate this attitude of appreciation, you become a magnet for luck, transforming your life in ways you never thought possible. Chapter 16, Serendipity and the Art of Creating Coincidence. You find yourself at a crossroads, both literal and metaphorical, as you uncover the ancient wisdom of serendipity. Picture a merchant, weary from his travels, dust-covered and uncertain, standing at the intersection of two paths. As he ponders his next move, a stranger appears, seemingly out of nowhere, offering a single piece of advice that will change the course of his life. Trust the whispers of the wind, the stranger says, his eyes twinkling with hidden knowledge, for they carry the seeds of fortune to those who listen. The merchant, intrigued, decides to heed these mysterious words. As he continues his journey, he finds himself more attuned to the subtle signs around him. A flutter of leaves, a distant melody, a sudden shift in the air. These seemingly random occurrences guide him to unexpected opportunities, leading him to his greatest fortune. This parable unveils the magic of serendipity, those moments when the universe aligns to bring you precisely what you need, often in ways you could never have planned. But make no mistake, serendipity is not mere chance. It is the result of your alignment with the flow of life a reward for your trust in the greater forces at play. Consider now the tale of Lila, a humble seamstress in a bustling city. Each day, as she sits at her window, her fingers nimbly working her craft, she feels a persistent tug at her heart. It whispers of adventure, of a life beyond the familiar walls of her shop. One day, Following this inner calling, Lila decides to take a different route to the market. As she rounds an unfamiliar corner, she stumbles upon a grand house where preparations for a royal wedding are underway. The head seamstress, overwhelmed by the task, spots Lila and recognizes the expert craftsmanship of her dress. In that moment, Lila's life changes forever as she is invited to join the royal tailoring team, her talents finally recognized and celebrated. These stories clarify an intense truth. Serendipity favors the prepared mind and the open heart. By remaining receptive to the subtle guidance of the universe, you create space for magical alignments to occur. Trust in divine timing, for the universe orchestrates events in ways your limited perspective cannot fathom. To cultivate serendipity in your own life, I offer you this practice. Each day, set aside a few moments for what I call the serendipity attunement. Find a quiet space where you can be undisturbed. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths, allowing your mind to settle. As you breathe, Imagine yourself opening up to the flow of the universe, becoming receptive to its guidance. Now bring your attention to any subtle nudges or coincidences you've experienced recently. Perhaps a book fell open to a specific page or a stranger's words resonated deeply with you. Without judgment, simply notice these occurrences. As you go about your day, remain alert to these subtle signs. 
when you feel a gentle pull towards a certain action or direction, even if it seems illogical, consider following it. Trust in the wisdom of your intuition and the guiding hand of the universe. Part 3. Mastering the Art of Luck Chapter 17. Becoming the Master of Your Own Luck You open your eyes to the story of a young apprentice standing before his master craftsman. For years he has diligently followed every instruction, honed his skills, and absorbed the wisdom of his teacher. Now, as the apprentice eagerly awaits his final lesson, the master smiles knowingly and says, The final lesson, my child, is to trust your own hands and create your own path. In this moment, you recognize a profound truth. True luck is not something found, but something created through intentional thought and action. Just as the apprentice must now forge his own way, you too are the architect of your fortune. Review the techniques of self-mastery that lie before you. Each thought you nurture, each action you take, is a brushstroke on the canvas of your destiny. You have the power to choose, to shape, to create. Your luck is not left to chance, but crafted by your own hands. Now picture a seasoned captain standing at the helm of his ship. Storm clouds gather on the horizon, and his crew looks to him with uncertainty. But the captain, trusting his inner compass, steers the vessel with unwavering confidence. Through treacherous waters and howling winds, he navigates, guided by an inner knowing that transcends the chaos around him. As the storm clears, a wondrous sight appears before them, a hidden land of untold riches, discovered not by chance, but by the captain's trust in his own instincts. This is the power of taking ownership of your destiny. The greatest fortunes await those who dare to chart their own course. To reinforce this wisdom in your daily life, I offer you this practice. Each morning as the first light of dawn breaks, take a moment to affirm your role as the creator of your luck. Speak these words with conviction. I am the master of my fate, the creator of my fortune. Today I choose to align my thoughts and actions with the abundance that awaits me. Then open your journal and write about the ways in which you are already creating your own luck. Perhaps you made a bold decision that opened new doors, or you chose to see an obstacle as an opportunity. By acknowledging these moments, you reinforce the belief that you are indeed the master of your fate. Chapter 18. The Power of Momentum As you turn the page, a tale unfolds before your eyes, a story of persistence and the power of cumulative effort. Picture a stonecutter his hands calloused and strong, standing before a massive boulder. With unwavering determination, he raises his hammer and strikes. Again and again, he brings the hammer down, each blow seemingly insignificant against the unyielding stone. Days pass, then weeks. The stonecutter's resolve never wavers, and then, on a day like any other, as the hammer falls once more, the stone suddenly splits. It is not this final strike that achieves the impossible, but the countless blows that came before it. In this tale, you glimpse an insightful truth. Luck is built with every step you take. Each action, no matter how small, contributes to the energy that attracts fortune. Like the stone cutter, your consistent efforts accumulate, creating a momentum that can move mountains. Consider now the core of this teaching. Small daily actions compound over time, leading to breakthroughs that may seem like strokes of luck to the untrained eye. But you, dear seeker, know better. You understand that these lucky outcomes are the fruit of your persistent labor. Let your mind wander to a barren field where a lone farmer stands. In his hand, he holds a single seed. With care, he plants it in the earth. The next day he returns with another seed and then another. Day after day this simple act continues. Months pass, then years. 
What was once an empty expanse is now a thriving orchard, rich with fruit and life. This, too, is the nature of luck. It is not a single event, but a harvest grown from the seeds of your daily efforts. Each small action you take is a seed planted in the field of your future fortune. To embed this wisdom in your life, I offer you this practice. Create for yourself a momentum tracker. Each day, record your small wins and aligned actions. It may be a kind word spoken, a task completed with care, or a step taken toward your goals. As the days pass, observe how these seemingly insignificant actions build upon one another, creating a powerful current of fortune in your life. Remember, with every step, you are building your luck. Trust in the process, for the breakthrough you seek may be just one action away. Chapter 19 Letting go of the past to invite future luck. You stand at the base of a towering mountain, its peak shrouded in mist. Before you, a man struggles to take even a single step upward. His back is bent, his shoulders hunched under the weight of a large sack filled with stones. Each stone represents a grudge, a regret, a painful memory he has carried for far too long. As you watch, the man's eyes suddenly widen with realization. He reaches into the sack and pulls out a stone, examining it closely. With a deep breath, he lets it fall from his hand, then another and another. As each stone tumbles away, his posture straightens, his steps become lighter. Finally, he casts aside the empty sack and begins to climb with ease, his path to the summit now clear. In this tale, you witness a philosophical truth. To invite new fortune, one must first release the burdens of the past. The stones that weigh you down, old grudges, regrets, and painful memories, block the flow of luck and opportunity in your life. Consider now a woman standing in a garden. For years the flowers have refused to bloom, the soil remaining barren. In her heart she carries the weight of an old betrayal, a grudge against a former friend. As you observe, she closes her eyes, takes a deep breath, and consciously chooses to forgive. The moment she releases this long-held resentment, a soft breeze stirs. When she opens her eyes, the garden is suddenly alive with color, flowers blooming in abundance. This, too, is the nature of luck. When you release the emotional burdens of the past, you create space for new blessings to enter your life. Forgiveness is not about condoning past actions, but about freeing yourself from their continued influence on your present and future. To help you embody this wisdom, I offer you this practice. Find a quiet place where you can be undisturbed. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths. Visualize yourself standing at the base of a mountain carrying a heavy sack on your back. Each stone inside represents a past hurt, a grudge, or a regret. One by one, reach into the sack and pull out these stones. As you examine each one, acknowledge the pain it represents, then consciously choose to let it go. Visualize yourself dropping the stone and watch it roll away. Feel the lightness that comes with each release. When the sack is empty, imagine a warm, golden light filling the space where the stones once were. This light represents the new opportunities and luck now free to enter your life. Open your eyes, feeling unburdened and open to the flow of fortune. Chapter 20. The Resilience of the Lucky Mind You stand before a grove of bamboo trees, their slender stalks swaying gently in the breeze. As you watch, dark clouds gather on the horizon, and soon a fierce storm descends upon the grove. The wind howls, rain lashes, and the bamboo bends almost to the ground under the onslaught. For a moment, it seems as though the delicate plants will snap under the pressure. But as the storm passes, you witness a miraculous sight. 
the bamboo, far from being broken, springs back upright. Not only does it return to its original position, but it stands taller and stronger than before, its roots having grown deeper in response to the challenge. In this narrative, you see the essence of resilience, the ability to recover from setbacks and emerge stronger. Like the bamboo, those who cultivate resilience in their lives find that challenges do not break them but rather strengthen them, making them more adaptable and better able to attract fortune. Now picture a marathon runner. As the race begins, she starts strong, her pace steady, and her spirits high. But halfway through, disaster strikes. She stumbles and falls, watching as other runners pass her by. For a moment, defeat seems certain. Yet something within her refuses to give up. She rises, her determination unwavering, and begins to run again. Step by step, she regains her momentum, passing one runner after another. As she crosses the finish line in first place, you realize that her victory was not just about speed, but about the resilience that kept her going when others might have given up. This, too, is the nature of luck. It often favors those who refuse to stay down when life knocks them over. Your ability to rise again after setbacks is what keeps you in the race, allowing you to encounter new opportunities that others who may have given up will miss. To help you cultivate this resilience and attract more luck into your life, I offer you this practice. Find a quiet, comfortable space, close your eyes, and take several deep breaths, allowing your body to relax. Now bring to mind a challenge you faced in the past, a time when you felt knocked down by life's circumstances. Visualize this situation clearly, acknowledging the difficulty you experienced. Then, begin to shift your perspective. See how this challenge made you stronger, wiser, or more compassionate. Imagine yourself as a bamboo tree bending under the weight of the storm but not breaking. Feel your roots growing deeper, your resolve strengthening. Now, visualize yourself springing back up, taller and more resilient than before. As you open your eyes, carry with you the knowledge that every challenge you face is an opportunity to grow stronger and more aligned with the flow of fortune in your life. Chapter 21 tapping into collective energy for luck. As you turn the page, you discover a tale that speaks to the profound power of unity and shared purpose. Picture a small village nestled in a valley, isolated from the bustling trade routes that bring prosperity to other regions. The villagers, though hardworking, find themselves struggling to thrive. One day, an elder suggests a bold plan to build a bridge across the ravine that has long separated them from the main road, and at first the task seems insurmountable, but as the villagers begin to work together, something magical happens. Each person brings their unique skills and strengths to the project. The blacksmith forges tools, the carpenter designs the structure, and even the children contribute by carrying water to the workers. As the bridge takes shape, so too does a sense of shared purpose and unity among the villagers. When the bridge is finally complete, it opens up a world of possibilities. Merchants begin to pass through, bringing goods and opportunities. The village flourishes, not just economically, but in spirit. The luck that seemed to have evaded them for so long now flows freely a testament to the power of collective energy and shared intention. This parable illustrates a serious truth. When you align your energy with others, you create a force far greater than the sum of its parts. Like the villagers, you too can amplify your luck by joining your intentions and efforts with those of like-minded individuals. Consider now the tale of a lone musician struggling to find her place in the world of art. Night after night, she plays in empty cafes, her melodies falling on deaf ears. But one fateful evening, she encounters a group of artists, painters, poets, and fellow musicians, 
who invite her to join their collective. As she begins to collaborate with these kindred spirits, something extraordinary unfolds. Her music takes on new dimensions, inspired by the energy of the group. Opportunities that once seemed out of reach now present themselves with ease. Gallery owners who previously ignored her now seek her out for performances. Her luck, it seems, has taken a dramatic turn for the better. This story reminds you that luck is not always a solitary pursuit. By aligning yourself with others who share your vision and values, you create a magnetic field of possibility that attracts fortune more powerfully than you could alone. To harness this collective energy and invite more luck into your life, I offer you this practice. Seek out a group of like-minded individuals who share your goals or interests. This could be a formal organization or simply a gathering of friends. Together, set a collective intention for something you wish to manifest, perhaps a creative project, a community initiative, or even a shared vision for personal growth. Once you've established your collective intention, meet regularly to focus your combined energy on this goal. This could involve meditation, visualization exercises, or practical planning sessions. Pay close attention to the synchronicities and opportunities that begin to appear as you align your energy with others. As you engage in this practice, observe how the shared energy accelerates the manifestation of luck in ways you might never have experienced alone. Remember, just as the villagers' bridge connected them to new possibilities, your connection with others can build bridges to fortune you never knew existed. Chapter 22. Recognizing Synchronicity as the Universe's Wink As you turn the page, you encounter a tale that speaks to the mysterious workings of the universe. Picture a traveler, weary from his journey, finding himself lost in the winding streets of a foreign city. As he wanders, unsure of his destination, he notices a peculiar symbol etched into the side of a building, a symbol that resonates with him for reasons he cannot explain. Trusting his intuition, he follows the direction the symbol seems to indicate. Soon, he encounters another sign, a street vendor selling maps with a familiar pattern. Each step guided by these subtle cues, he weaves through the city until, to his amazement, he finds himself standing before the very person he had come to this distant land to meet. This tale illuminates the concept of synchronicity, those meaningful coincidences that seem to defy explanation yet guide us toward our destiny. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, often communicates through these subtle signs, nudging you toward the path of greatest fortune. Put your focus now on the tale of a humble seamstress toiling away in her small shop. Day after day, she notices small, seemingly insignificant occurrences, a recurring number on the clock, a pattern in the fabric that catches her eye, a chance conversation overheard in the market. At first, she dismisses these as mere coincidences. But as she begins to pay attention, she realizes these signs are weaving a tapestry of opportunity. Following their thread, she discovers a hidden market for her unique designs, transforming her modest business into a thriving enterprise. Her willingness to heed these subtle cues from the universe opened the door to a fortune she never imagined possible. These stories remind you that synchronicity is not mere chance, but the universe's way of showing you that you are in alignment with the flow of luck. By attuning yourself to these signs, you open yourself to guidance that can lead you to your greatest fortune. To help you recognize and harness the power of synchronicity in your own life, I offer you this practice. Begin a synchronicity journal. Each day, make a note of any coincidences or signs that catch your attention. These might be recurring numbers, chance encounters, or even dreams that seem particularly significant. 
At the end of each week, review your journal and reflect on how these synchronicities might be guiding you toward luck and opportunity. As you engage in this practice, you may find that what once seemed like random occurrences begin to form a meaningful pattern, a roadmap to fortune laid out by the universe itself. Remember, just as the traveler found his way through a maze of streets and the seamstress discovered her hidden opportunity, your attention to synchronicity can guide you to the luck that awaits you. Chapter 23. Luck is Infinite. As you dig deeper into the mysteries of luck, you begin to uncover the hidden language of the universe, a language spoken through synchronicity. These seemingly random coincidences are, in truth, signposts guiding you toward your greatest fortune. Consider the traveler in our first parable. Lost in a foreign city, he found himself guided by a series of signs that appeared meaningless at first glance. A peculiar symbol etched on a building, a street vendor selling maps with a familiar pattern, a chance encounter with a local who pointed him in a specific direction, all these seemingly unrelated events conspired to lead him exactly where he needed to be. This is the essence of synchronicity. The universe speaks to you through these subtle cues, nudging you toward your destiny. But to benefit from this guidance, you must first learn to recognize it. In your own life, pay attention to the small details that catch your eye, or the recurring themes that seem to follow you. These are not mere coincidences, but rather the universe's way of communicating with you. When you notice these signs, pause and reflect on their potential meaning. What direction might they be pointing you towards? The story of the seamstress further illustrates this principle. By attuning herself to the small signs in her daily life, a recurring number on the clock, a pattern in the fabric that caught her eye, a chance conversation overheard in the market, she discovered a hidden opportunity that transformed her modest business into a thriving enterprise. This parable teaches us that synchronicity often manifests in the most mundane aspects of our lives. It is through our willingness to pay attention and act on these signs that we align ourselves with the flow of luck. To harness the power of synchronicity in your own life, you must cultivate a state of open awareness. This means remaining receptive to the subtle messages the universe is constantly sending your way. It requires a balance of mindfulness and intuition, being present in the moment, while also trusting your inner guidance. When you encounter a synchronicity, do not dismiss it as mere chance. Instead, ask yourself, what might this be trying to tell me? How could this be guiding me toward my goals or desires? By engaging with these meaningful coincidences, you open yourself to the universe's guidance and allow luck to flow more freely into your life. Remember, synchronicity is not about forcing connections or reading too deeply into every occurrence. It is about recognizing the natural flow of events and allowing yourself to be carried by that current toward your greatest fortune. To help you cultivate this awareness and harness the power of synchronicity, I offer you this practice. Begin a synchronicity journal. Each day, take a few moments to note down any coincidences or signs that caught your attention. These might include recurring numbers or symbols, chance encounters with people, overheard conversations that seem relevant to your current situation, dreams that feel particularly significant, unexpected opportunities that arise. At the end of each week, review your journal and reflect on these occurrences. How might they be connected? What message could the universe be trying to convey? How could these synchronicities be guiding you toward luck and opportunity? As you engage in this practice, you may find that what once seemed like random events begin to form a meaningful pattern, a roadmap to fortune laid out by the universe itself. By attuning yourself to these signs and acting upon them, you align yourself with the flow of luck, opening doors to opportunities you never imagined possible. 
Chapter 24 Living as the Luckiest Person on Earth As you turn the page, you encounter the tale of Amara, a woman once known for her timidity and misfortune. Her story unfolds before your eyes, a testament to the transformative power of embracing the teachings of luck. Amara's journey began when she stumbled upon an ancient text, not unlike the one you hold now, that spoke of the secrets of fortune. As she immersed herself in its wisdom, a remarkable change took place. Her hesitation gave way to confidence, her doubt to certainty, and her misfortune to an abundance of lucky encounters. Soon, people began to notice. Wherever Amara went, good fortune seemed to follow. Business deals would mysteriously fall into place, lost items would appear at her feet, and opportunities would manifest as if conjured by her very presence. She became known as the Fortune Maker, a beacon of luck that others sought out for her radiant energy. This story illustrates a powerful truth. Becoming the luckiest person on earth is not about external circumstances. It is about embodying the mindset, energy, and practices that naturally attract fortune. Amara didn't change her surroundings. She changed herself, and in doing so, transformed her world. Appraise now the tale of Elias, a young inventor whose early attempts at innovation were met with failure and ridicule. But Elias discovered a powerful secret. He began to adopt the identity of someone who was always lucky. With each setback, he would ask himself, how would the luckiest person in the world view this challenge? This shift in perspective worked wonders. What once seemed like obstacles became opportunities for growth and discovery. A malfunctioning prototype led to an unexpected breakthrough. A missed deadline opened the door to a more lucrative partnership. By fully embracing the identity of a fortunate soul, Elias turned every challenge into a victory. These stories reveal an intense truth. Living as the luckiest person is not a destination, but a journey. It is a lifelong practice of alignment with the energies of fortune, an openness to the abundance that surrounds you at every moment. To help you embody this truth and become a magnet for luck, I offer you this transformative practice. Create a daily identity affirmation where you speak and act as the luckiest person on earth. Begin each morning by looking in the mirror and declaring with unwavering conviction, I am the luckiest person in the world. Fortune favors me in all that I do. Throughout your day, whenever you face a decision or challenge, ask yourself, how would the luckiest person approach this situation? Then act from that place of certainty and alignment. As you go about your activities, carry yourself with the confidence and joy of someone for whom everything works out perfectly. Smile at strangers, express gratitude for small blessings, and approach each moment with the expectation of a fortunate outcome. Conclusion You have journeyed through the ancient secrets of luck, unlocking hidden truths and practices that will forever change the way you experience life. By aligning your mind, emotions, and actions with the frequency of fortune, you have discovered that luck is not a fleeting moment, but a continuous flow that you can direct. As you reflect on the wisdom contained within these pages, remember that each teaching, each story, and each practice is a stepping stone on your path to becoming the luckiest person on earth. The journey you've undertaken is one of transformation from a passive recipient of circumstance to an active creator of your own fortune. You now understand that luck is not an external force, but an inner state of being. It is the result of your thoughts, beliefs, and actions aligning with the universal flow of abundance. The practices you've learned from visualization and gratitude to resilience and synchronicity are not mere exercises, but powerful tools for shaping your reality. This journey does not end here. 
It will continue to unfold with every day, every thought, every choice you make. Each moment presents an opportunity to apply these teachings, to embody the energy of luck, and to manifest the life you desire. You are now equipped with the tools to live as the luckiest person on earth. But remember, the true power of luck lies not just in knowing these secrets, but in living them. It is in the daily practice, consistent alignment, and the unwavering belief in your own fortunate nature that true transformation occurs. Keep this book close, return to its pages often, and let the universe continue to reveal its infinite fortune to you. As you integrate these teachings into your life, you will find that luck becomes not just a series of fortunate events, but a way of being, a constant state of alignment with the abundant flow of the universe. If you enjoyed this exclusive audiobook, I handpicked this next book which will change your life.